people? It's Pops here. Giving you guys a commentary that I should have done a long time ago. That I didn't do for some reason. But it's going to be based on about this Kabuto DLC that came out. That I didn't get a chance to do and I really should have. But I'm going to give you guys my opinion on it. What I think about it. And you know how I truly feel about it. Because we did talk about it on the Infamous channel. But everybody's ideas are thrown around. And now it's my time for my own ideas. And what I think and what I believe in. So let's get into it. This Sage Mode Kabuto DLC that came out is going to be in the story mode. He's going to be a playable character. Him versus the Uchiha brothers. Personally, I think that the story mode boss battle will be pretty good. I like I like boss battles, you know. It's something that they added new and the animation looks sick. I enjoyed watching it and it was pretty cool and everything. So I'm looking forward to it and, um, you know, being able to battle against him and all his different powers. He used the sound of Jafar. I seen them there too. That was a little crazy. Uh, I was shocked when I saw Tuyuya's head come out of nowhere, shooting those little ghost things with her flute. Thought that was kind of crazy and all of that. Um, what else is there? I guess I hope that there will be more D DLC and characters that will come out for the game because you know we haven't seen everything. We've seen just about a bit of what should come out for it. I mean, they said that they might put more characters in. From what I see. They didn't say that. They, it looks like they could do that. That's what I meant to say. It looks like they could do that. So, you know, that'd be pretty nice for them to do that. Because before they said that they couldn't, but they added a new character, so they might have more. You never know, guys. Our 7 Ninja Swordsman and, you know, the Edo Kages and all the stuff that everybody keeps complaining about, we actually might be able to get. And that's kind of what we've been hoping for. Because, you know, people constantly talk about them and they really want them. But anyway, back on the topic about, um, using this character, um, Seijo Kabuto, I mean, he might be a good addition to the online, and, you know, people might enjoy using him, and all of that, but from what I can get from me watching this whole thing about, you know, him being a playable character and all of that, and everything, um, I see nothing but positive things from here on, and they're doing a good job by adding something new to this, or, and they're gonna do a good job by adding him to the game, and online, and the multiplayer, and everything. And you never know, there might be more characters too that they can add in the game too. And it's going to be kind of a wake up call for everybody. But like, you know what, Storm 3 isn't as bland and as washed up as you think. And more people might buy the game again or just get full bursts and be happy with that. And come back to the game, play it, and enjoy it like they should have. And it'll be great for the community to get new players and more people that love the Naruto series that enjoy playing it. So that's all I can really think about this whole um Sage Mo Kabuto discussion that I decided to make. So I go I hope you guys enjoyed this short little commentary I made for you guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, like and subscribe. And tell me what you think about it in the comment section and I'll talk to you guys later. Alright, peace.